<laughs> hey there, Atlas Blade here, and we're here in Sumeru. Uh, I'm gonna do the mission now for the event, which is the last part, but uh, I got this little mission here first, this, uh, this thing where I got I can ask Dory about that incident from 20 years ago. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this first, then get to the mission, so. Tell me, Dory. I pressed you. I'm pressing Dory. What's going on? Hello? What happened? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. There we go, what the heck? Have you decided to buy information from me? Oh, there's no audio for this. Prime was a little curious about your exclusive information, but we need to hear the price first. If it's too expensive, we'll forget it. I'll sell you for the fixed price of one million mora. I can probably already actually afford that. That's a lot, Never mind. One million mora, I can buy lots of tasty food. Wait a sec. The original cost information was one for, for you. The price is now free. What? Is that real? Come on, Dari. <coughs> Didn't you such luck exist? Spending it on your first. Yeah, yeah, just tell me about the information. Come on. Oh, God, I don't care. Only the champion was entitled to wear a diadem. Seems very valuable. Exactly. The diadem that Sakin gave the academia was rather expensive and antique. Yet this very diadem, after it was donated to the academia, was lost by them once before. What? Oh. Okay. If everyone knew about this, would my information still be considered exclusive? Of course, this information doesn't come from nowhere. I've got witnesses, too. There's a young fellow named Kashmir from the suburbs. If you're interested in delving further, you could ask him. The password is that incident from 20 years ago. Okay, this is a little... Huh, this is something... This isn't... Hmm. Okay, I guess I talked to Kashmir. Huh. Okay, let's go do that. Are you Kashmir? Oh, okay, you're Kashmir. Who are you guys? Is this something you need? Oh, it seems very That incident from 20 years ago. I guess I shouldn't have told anyone. Last time I had too much to drink and blabbered a little too much. Now people are seeking me out. Since you're curi curious, I guess I can tell you. I was just six years old 20 years ago, so I can't remember clearly what happened at that time. Yeah, you look young, I was like... But recently, I read the diary I kept and when I was a child and vaguely recalled the situation back then. The Interdarshan Championship was also held that year. There were three rounds, the last of which was outside the city. I begged my mom to take me out to town to see it. And when she refused, I snuck out. And then? I ended up getting lost outside the city. In the middle of nowhere, there was no one around. I grew more and more frightened and began to cry. That's when I saw some strange creatures. I can't remember what they looked like. I only remember how, as a child, I stopped crying at the sight of them. Oh. Strange creatures. They must be... Oh, the Aranera. I know what they are. I haven't seen them yet, though. <laughs> they took me to the competition. Unfortunately, by the time we got there, it was too late. It was already over. Then, when I was disheartened, I suddenly saw one of those strange creatures slowly dragging a crown along. It was a beautiful crown shining in the moonlight, and I could not help but follow it. I saw the little fellow hide the crown in a hollow tree before disappearing. I wanted to touch the crown, but at that moment I could hear the distant cries of my mother. It turns out she figured out I was lost and got her neighbors to go looking for me. I never got, in, never got to touch it. It wasn't until I was older when I saw the item of knowledge at the Interdani Darshan Championship that I realized it was the same thing. All right, do you remember where that diadem ended up? It's probably at the Avidia Forest, but I been back a few times and haven't found anything. No one would believe me even if I told them. Alas, even I can't remember it clearly. Perhaps it was a dream I had when I was a child. Well, we should go look for it. Yeah, let's go. Nvidia Forest. Continue looking for clues. Gotcha. That way. Okay, here we go. Up up here? Oh. We go, do we go up? Do we go in? Is that the same thing? Oh, no, we go down. No, where do we go? Oh, we're here. There's a hole in the tree. It seems completely empty and there's nothing in it. Oh, wait, there's a note here. The good Nara taught Arakash... Oh, God. How to read Ara... Must protect the good Nara. What's this supposed to mean? I don't know. I got something out of the... 
Sakin's article. Okay. This... What is this? Okay, go back to Dory then. Huh. This is interesting. Yo, Dory, this stuff better be important, because I keep getting them. Well, well, if it isn't Atlas and Paimon yet again. I have the latest update on the Academia Extract. I forgot what her voice sounds like. Would you like to hear it? Oh, God, how much is it free? Okay, do you guys remember stuff? Yes, yeah, Sakin. You guys sponsor Academia, blah, 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 prize management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The business desert, when I met an old businessman, and guess what I got from a dealer's ledger with... Play dangerous areas and then I can go to more places. Yeah, yeah. The most important thing is that the ledgers mention Sakin. Okay. Oh. It turns out that Sakin had been in the desert to investigate the people's local conditions and customs. He also had cordial exchanges with traveling merchants in the desert. Much of the text is lost, but this is a first hand account of a big sponsor behind the academia. Actually, I think I saw him. Would you? Okay. Oh my god. The sandstorms are raging. The caravan has stalled. We ran into scholars calling himself Sakin. He said he could sponsor the caravan, provided that we... This is a trial of human nature. Betrayal, plunder. Whoa. There was nothing we could do. No one could withstand. If we could do it all over again, I would never have taken that money. Then they wouldn't have had to die. And I wouldn't be living like this. A fate worse than death. People are the most terrible. Oh, exactly what he said. Well, okay. It's so hard to understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid that if you need it analyzed, it'll cost you an extra million mora. Forget it. Well, since you're not paying, that'll be... There should be someone here who... Perhaps you could talk to them. Talk to someone at the venue. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk to you, old man. Vasudeva. Damn, that's a cool name, though. Alas, seeing these young children... I can't help but reminisce about the past. The Interdention Championship has always been a strain stage for young talent. Unfortunately, not every genius will be successful eventually. Why do you say that? Goddamn motorcycles. Geniuses are mostly stubborn and cold and find it hard to understand the pain of others. Damn. Empathetic people, on the other hand, often fall into self-doubt and depression. People who are not firm can only stand still, while people who are determined but walk down the wrong path refuse to look back. There's a lot to think about here. You better be the person I need to talk to, or else I'm just depressing myself for no reason listening to you. Yeah, he's the right person to talk to. I, I just, I... Okay. <laughs> See, man, you made me jump off the ledge. Okay, next person is somewhere here. Is it up there? Is it okay? That person. Give me, give me a second. I'm climbing. Ah, you. I need to talk to you. Ah, there's prizes in store. I get rewards for talking to you. Havi, <laughs> Huvishka. Okay. For this year, Interdarshan, Interdarshan Championship. My favorite has to be Sino. Aside from his skills as the General Malmatra, looking back at the tournament history, the Spantamath Darshan has the highest percentage of champions. Yeah, because they're pretty tough. Many people say that the Spantamath Darshan produces many talented people, such as Cyrus, Ruzika, Lisa, Sino. Lisa was Spantamath? I don't remember that. Brighter, the brighter the talent, the sooner the game will lose its suspense. The most exciting competition was still 20 years ago. At that time, my friend also participated in the game. And I went there to cheer for him. The last round was played in a video forest. In the end, no one dared approach them. And no one knew what was going on in the depths of the forest. Then I heard the academia shut down the competition. Later, the interdungeon championship removed many of the events in which people fought to the death. Jesus. <laughs> Discouraging people from being desperate enough to do so. What's your friend like? Let me think. He's honest and kind. But he's also vulnerable and sensitive. Most of all, he cared about us. When we drink together, our time's filled with laughter and cheer. It's just too bad that it's all in the past now. Among the friends we drank with, some died, some disappeared. Some now live in seclusion. They stay, fate is fickle, perhaps. Perhaps it's true. Looks like something did happen 20 years ago. Right? 
Didn't Weakest tell us to seek him out if we had any questions? Now that we have time, why don't we ask him? Okay, we're gonna talk to Weakest again. To claim the crown. Oh, okay. I need to finish the game first. Gotcha. Now get to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talk about it to Arav. Hello, Arav. Arrive. Arav, I have arrived. Uh, you're here. Sorry, I was just about to send someone to inform you. I only just finished interrogating the suspects. I didn't even know you already had suspects. How did you find out? Well, lots of unexpected details, let's put it that way. The mercs themselves were surprisingly easy to catch. We just had someone dress up as Sachin and they took the bait. But then it starts to get messy. During the interrogation, we learned that they were hired by Sachin's own child. Whoa! What? Why would someone want to kidnap their own father? What's up with that? It's because of the will, right? Sachin was willing to give up everything he owns to whoever catches his fancy in this championship, so I guess his son? Hmm. It's anybody's guess at this point. In any event, apparently the guys we caught are just the tip of the iceberg. Most of them are still snooping around outside the city. It's echoing, can you hear that? We're diverting manpower as we speak to try and round them all up. Would you like to come along? Heck yeah. Sure, let's go get to the bottom of all this. Let's go kick some ace. Oh, I can already talk to Weekend. Okay, we'll do that. The incident from 20 years ago. What a sudden question. Did you hear any particular information? We've heard that the dynam seems to have been lost 20 years ago, and some contestants' personality has changed. You seem to know a lot about that. Is there something you're not telling us? Not exactly. I was five years old when it happened. How could I know? But there are things I've never told anyone. I actually, I'm actually a part of the Academia Academy Planning Committee because of the influence of the senior colleague. That senior colleague and I met on trip. He was a bit timid and would always flee and cower somewhere at the first sign of an emergency. One day, four years ago, I said to him, I want to go back to the Academia. The Academia Extravaganza is about to begin. And then, upon mentioning the Academia Extravaganza, he got startled and said, so said something about it. It has nothing to do with me. When I said goodbye to him, he insisted on getting a drink with me. After several drinks, he started talking all sorts of nonsense. I saw too many in the drunken stupor. I didn't really hear him that well. I only remember that he said that he lost the diadem of knowledge for a while. He was in charge of the stigmatism of the distribution and recovery of the diadem of knowledge and that he nearly had a heart attack upon realizing that the diadem was missing. Fortunately, he finally found it in a tree hole, like the tree we visited, like the one we saw before. He said that the diadem of knowledge is a very valuable treasure, which is recorded in many ancient books. Legend has it that it was built by a famous craftsman in ancient times and carries a secret that no one knows, except Sakim. Sakim has entrusted the academia to safeguard the diadem after all. If my senior was responsible for a diamond's disappearance, he could not afford to pay for it with his meager wealth. Even if he, the loss was temporary, no one should know of it. At least the academia will find him guilty of gross negligence. So he covered it up? Yes, it seems that he also said that many people came to inquire about it, including children. But he said that the diadem had never been lost. But he was so scared that when it, things blew over, he quit his job and left academia. I dragged too much that night, and when I woke up the next day, he was gone. The more I thought about it, the more I had the bad feeling that issues would crop up, crop up in the Academia Extravaganza if entrusted to someone like him. I didn't have a job at the time, so I joined the Academia Extravaganza planning committee. I tried to investigate the things on the inside too, but I couldn't find anything. And the diadem was found, and the man whose personality was said to have changed was dead, and there was nothing to be found. Still, 20 years is still a long time, long enough that people involved from the beginning no longer remember nor care. That's all I know. If you're curious, maybe one day you'll discover the truth. That's easy for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard from him. Later, I was went to the desert to look for him, but the vast desert is what... It was impossible to run into him. Uh, information on Sachin. Oh my god, sure, tell us. I was traveling, so the airman commander, while he was chatting, he said the came. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna do his voice anymore. Possession of Arlo written by Sachim. He seemed to think it was something precious and refused to show it to anyone, only to let me peek at it in my request. I caught a glimpse of it, but saw it, it was signed by Sachim. I don't know who Sachim is, was, nor did I care after joining. He was important member of the, 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 the sponsor. Yeah, I know that. If you're interested, you can find airman. Yes, thank you. That's what I need. 
information. All right, let's go. Uh, do I do the mission now, or do I? God damn, let's go to Chim's article first. Oh, he was right next to the teleport point. Hey, thanks, Suhaib. God damn. What do you want? Whoa, this guy looks real fierce. No, he's not. <laughs> we can take him. Either say your peace or leave. I have no time for you. Actually, we are very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just get to the point? Are you kidding me? No, why would you ask that? See, if you guys really don't know. Some time ago, I had the article appraised. Turns out it's nothing more than a personal travel gown. And is of little value. He hired my father to keep him safe. That's the keen fellow would often walk, ask, write, and mumble. There was one time that his papers were blown away by this wind. He said... Okay, my father, however, thought that things written by intellectuals must be valuable, so he looked around for them at night with a torch. None among my family can read them. My father cherished his article and then passed it on to me. I had no idea it was completely worthless. You still have it? Yes, you want... You can look at it as much as you want since it's not worth anything. There's no need for me to be so stingy. Oh boy, more reading. Here we go. Once the gods reign supreme, all life flocked to them six shared theirs. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. Those who suffered did so in silence. Now divine power has dwindled while human wisdom has blossomed. However, those who suffer face suffering still. There's a saying in Leeway that goes, Life is like lodging at an inn, and an inn, and in Zuma all things are but void. Damn, it hurts every time I read these words. I tried to seek the reason for this. The wheel of time turns, and the only constant throughout Suramaru's history is human nature. Since arriving in the desert, I have conducted a total of 64 experiments over the course of seven years. Damn, that's a lot. Men are like prisoners or captured animals, feeding on each other's happiness until one is doomed to internal torment. Therefore, where this is gain, there must be loss. Where there is gain, there must be loss. Where there is happiness, there is agony. Everyone is a victim, but everyone is also a perpetrator. Greed and numbness reside in the hearts of humanity. Driven by greed, humans choose to commit evil. And numbness is why they turn a blind eye to the evil of others. But if this is what the world is, what is, then the meaning of the world, the future... Oh. But if this is what the world is, what is, then, the meaning of the world? The future is to the present, as the present is to the past. Damn! <laughs> Peace was never enough. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Conflict is the eternal truth. Everything from my knowledge, my wisdom, is but nothingness. Bro. To be honest, Paimon can... But judging from the crummy, ha crummy handwriting, Paimon can say... Dang, he's going through a tough time. You think? Peace was never an option? Thank you very much. But I'm going to keep it anyway. After all, my father's entrusted it to me. Come see me again if you want to look at it again. No, I've had enough of his stuff. Hey, you want me to do it? The contestant. Good God, a lot of things from Dory. Navigate, baby. Oh, I'm already navigating. Okay, how much more stuff you got for me, Dory? Uh, this, jo this job is getting very depressing. Okay, so it's time again for me. Yeah, whatever. Purchase the latest report. Let's see, it's from Asian Sporting. It'll go for only half a million. It's half the usual price. What a bargain. Mind giving it for me for free? Just as I expected. But I'm the grip. Since you're interested, I'll tell you for free. But you must keep it to yourselves. Okay, Dory. I heard that 20 years ago there was a contestant whose friend... Yeah, yeah, we know that. But it looks like someone saw him in Arab Village. I wonder where he ended up. That's all the information. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go to Arab Village. I'm gonna get to the big, wet, soggy bottom of this. Ugh. Oh, he's beneath me. How beneath me? Oh! Old lady! Hello, Rishti. Twenty years ago, a young man did appear here. Back then, life was much harder than it is now. Poverty, disease, ignorance. They tormented us constantly. That young man, clearly from academia with a bright future, was nevertheless willing to come here and help us. He taught us how to deal with wee nuts and monsters. We, he bought us a lot of medicine with money from his own pocket and took care of the ill all by himself. He sounds like a great guy. Yes, too bad the good die young. 
This is a very depressing mission, and it doesn't even have voiceovers. He was always frowning, and no one knew what he was worried about. Everyone was wondering if he was going to leave us. This place did not have the means to properly host him. Still, many said he was a bit crazy to begin with. For example, he would sometimes tell children a story about how, as a child, he thought a str he thought taught he taught a strange creature to write. Later, he would often leave the village and explore the desert. Once I asked him what he was looking for, and he said he wanted to talk to someone from the Nagar something. Nag huh. Later on, I heard he died in the quicksand. Damn! It's said that he encountered a caravan trapped in quicksand on his way to investigate something. He saved many people, but he himself was unable to get out in time. At that time, there was still a half-finished letter addressed to his child at home. Oh... After he died, my son took that letter with him, thinking about delivering it someday. Isn't that unfinished letter still here? No, it's not here. To live a better life, my son became a mercenary. He was killed. Jesus Christ, this story. <laughs> killed in a scuffle a few years ago, and his belongings were taken. Many years have passed in the blink of an eye. I wonder how his child turned out, and if they hold a grudge against him. Not many people know these things anymore. I'm getting old. Perhaps I'll forget these things soon, too. That's the end? Tell me there's more. That's it? I'm getting old. It's time to make plans for the future. What the heck? There better be more after I finish... Oh, God. So, I guess I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna get end off this episode here at an incredibly depressing note. Oh my god. Ah oh boy. I hope you enjoyed my stupid voice acting. <laughs> so, thanks for watching and bye!